We are back here with the Baltimore Ravens franchise, and we are about to head into week number two to take on the 0-1 Miami Dolphins. But before we get to that, I've seen that DJ Shark has a skill point, so we're going to upgrade him there. I think, um, let's see, we got deep threat is the scheme fit, possession, red zone threat, uh, maybe a possession upgrade, I'm not sure, maybe the slot upgrade. And we're going to go with the slot there and see what that gives us. And that is going to give us a two catch in traffic, two medium route, and one short route. So pretty good upgrade there to a 73 overall. So let's now head into week number two here. About to take on this 0-1 Miami Dolphins team. They have a uh, new quarterback there signing Tyrod Taylor in the offseason. Tannehill still on the roster as a backup of going with Taylor as a starter. And really this is a team, this Baltimore Ravens, throughout the history have pretty much owned in Miami and even in Baltimore just own this team for some apparent reason and let's see if we can continue that ownage here in week number two and start off the season with a 2-0 and start here and here we go as the newly acquired quarterback for this Dolphins team Tyrod Taylor uh, two touchdowns one interceptions Tyrod Taylor obviously drafted by the Baltimore Ravens Actually was a Super Bowl winner, backup quarterback with the Ravens. So here he is facing his old team once again. So first and 10 now from the 25-yard line. Taylor underneath going to find Gesicki, now the second-year man out of Penn State. And he'll pick up about six up to the 31-yard line. So second and four now in the backfield is Kenyon Drake. But uh, Tyra Taylor this time going to play action. Almost like an RPO there. And going to find Damian Amendola there up to the 42-yard line and give them a first down. So second and five, single back, and blitz coming, and that's going to be brought down, and that is Matthew Judon with the sack, bringing down Taylor back to the 40-yard line and bringing up a third and long here. So from the gun is Taylor. Drake in the backfield. He's going to look over top, and that's going to be intercepted there by Tony Jefferson. Really, really bad decision there by Tyrod Taylor. Jefferson is off to the races. Not sure if anybody's going to catch him, and they will not. And just like that, to start off this ball game, we get a pick six there. 50-yard touchdown from Tony Jefferson. So the defense had a great did a great job last week, only allowing the Bills to six points. Gets uh, some points of their own here to start off this ball game. Seven nothing here. Just uh, ten minutes left in the first quarter. So another third and 14, third and long for this Dolphins team does not work out. So we get a pick six, coming right back into three and out. And now here comes our offense. So last week, Lamar Jackson struggled a little bit, trying to get this offense rolling, only putting up 16 points on in the game. Hopefully we can do a lot better here in the heat in Miami. Luckily it's not raining. Uh, always seems to be raining in Miami, but nothing here. We got the uh, nice weather. So first and 10, hand off to Nick Chubb. And looking to break through there. And he finally we brought down to the 47-yard line, picking up about 14. Decent, solid week one for Chubb. And hopefully uh, he'll continue to get better uh, week by week. So second and five. Jackson rolling out, trying to find something. Just going to dump this one off to Hayden Hurst. He'll be brought down. Only a pickup of about two there up to the 46-yard line. So this will bring up a third and three from the pistol. Jackson looking as a... Running out of time, can't find anybody there, just going to have to throw it away. That'll be incomplete. So can't get anything going yet so far on the offense. Slow start there, going three and out, and we'll pump the ball back to the Dolphins. So second and ten now, they have a Balaj in here. Back, the uh, backup running back, he picks up about three or four yards there. It makes us a third and five here from the 25. So Tyron coming, blitz coming, gets rid of it in time. But nice tackle there. That was uh, Mosley and Weddle stopping Drake there. And he is short of the first down, and Miami will have to punt and go three and out. So we get the ball right back here. A pretty long first quarter, I would say. A couple three and outs here. As soon as Michelle with a nice carry of 12 yards, and he picks up the first down. So first and 10. And it's going to be a pump fake there. We're going to find Josh Gordon across the middle open there, coming over there up to the 49 yard line. Give him 17 yards on the uh, reception there. And we're uh, moving the ball here. So it's on the second drive, looking a lot better. Second and eight. Jackson looking. Plenty of time to throw. Man, wide open is Paris Campbell. What happened to the coverage of Miami? He is just left all alone. Easy pitch and catch there from Jackson to Campbell. And we're up to the 21-yard line and give us a big-time first down. 
So from the 21, safety coming up for Miami. Jackson sees it, makes a little bit of adjustment. He's going to play action here, looking, and he has a man. That's going to be Debo Samuel, the other rookie, man. He takes a nice hit, but hangs on to the football for a first down, and we're down to the six here. First and goal. Hand off to Nick Chubb. Has plenty of room to run, and he just walks in easily for the score. First touchdown of this ball game here. And that was a great drive by the offense. Pass game looking good. And we have a 14-0 lead here in the first quarter. So game looking good so far. How will our, our defense respond? It's the uh, really the bread and butter of this team. And uh, right now the Dolphins have nothing for us right now. C.J. Mosley is going to tackle Kenyon Drake there in the backfield for a loss of one. So second and 11. Tyrod looking around, can't find anybody, and that's Tim Williams there, going to bring him down. So really nothing but Alabama guys here, Kenny Andre, C.J. Mosley, Tim Williams. But uh, Williams brings him down for the sack, now going to bring up a third and 16, as Tyrod's just going to go over to Devontae Parker. That's going to be incomplete, another three and out for this Dolphins team. And now our offense has a chance to just lay it on here just in the first quarter. So second and 10, we'll find uh, D.J. Shark Jr. there across the middle, picking up about seven yards. And this will make it a third and three here. 50 seconds left in this first quarter as Jackson's going to roll out through this one to Nick Chubb on the uh, flat there. And look at Nick Chubb just breaking through three guys, using the stiff arm, just lowering his head there up to the 45. And that is a big-time first down there. So now into the second quarter, third and 11 now for Jackson. And this time our luck runs out as that is going to be brought down the 39-yard line for a sack and will force us to punt the ball. So this Dolphins offense trying, trying to get something going. And this time it's Kenny Young getting in the backfield, knocking down Kenny on Drake for a loss of three. So this Dolphins offense really struggling now. Third and ten, and they finally get something, but he cannot. I think Amendola cannot hang on to it. Knocked away by Jimmy Smith. And once again, another three and out for the Dolphins. So this time back on offense, Debo Samuel there, the catch. Picks up about 19. He's up to the 50-yard line. And uh, we're into Dolphins territory now. Second and six. And off to Sony Michelle. Tries to get that one. Get as much as you can there. Maybe about three. He'll give him two. So third and four now from the 44. Jackson looking. Has plenty of time to throw. He's going to go underneath the Hayden Hurst who breaks a tackle. And that will give him just enough there to pick up the first down. Make it Fitzpatrick cannot bring him down. Breaks through it there. And will pick up the first down. So eight minutes pretty much left in the second quarter. And Sony Michelle just gets absolutely clocked there. I believe that was Rashad Jones just laid him out. Ball just pops out. And the uh, first round pick of the Dolphins, Rashad Gary from Michigan, picks up the fumble recovery. So now the Dolphins will have a little bit momentum. And you can see the offense maybe feeling it as Amendola picks up the first down there in second and five. And they're up to the 44, so this offense now trying to get something here. First and 10, and that's not going to help. That is going to be Willie Henry there, not falling for that play action. Picks up the sack there and knocks him back to the 36-yard line. So another third and long for this Dolphins team. Our defense is outstanding, so these third and longs really not what you want to put your offense in. As you can see, we get a stop there. Decent gain to Kenyon Drake, but we get the tackle, get the stop. So the turnover doesn't make much of a difference there. Just pretty much flips field position. And we're back on offense here with six minutes left in the first half as Chubb is going to pick up seven there on first down. So bring up a third and four. Blitz coming from the outside. But are going to find DJ Shark across the middle there. Wide open. Nice protection by this offensive line. Giving Jackson time to throw. Time to find his receivers there and picks up a first down. So first and ten. Jackson once again. This time it's going to be Deion Kane with the catch. He'll pick up about seven there, up to the 40-yard line. So uh, everybody getting involved here. All the receivers, Samuel Campbell, Gordon, Kane, Hur Hayden Hurst, everybody getting involved. And speaking of, there's Kenneth Dixon with the carry. He's up to the 48-yard line for a first down. So showing, showing the real depth uh, and skill of this offense here in this ball game. We kind of struggled last week. But this week it's looking good. It's going up for Josh Gordon, who comes down with the reception and the touchdown. 48 yards. Give Josh Gordon his first touchdown as a Raven. And now we take the 21 to nothing lead. Absolutely uh, dominating this Dolphins team here. We have 220 left in this first half. So Dolphins trying to get anything they can get going here. Kenyon Drake with the carry. He is now into positive yards. 
as uh, he only has one yard rushing on six attempts. Now third and five, Tyrod looking, trying to find something, and he finally finds Kenny Stills, who will hang on to it and give the Dolphins a first down. So from the 40, under two minutes, Dolphins trying to get something going, and finally get something going as Kosicki with the catch. He's down to the 28-yard line. Give him a first down to so Dolphins. Finally, this offense getting something going here under two minutes. From the 26, Tyrod looking, going to the outside, but it's an excellent play there by Tavon Young, just underthrown intended for Amendola, and Young is there for the interception, so just when the Dolphins were looking to get something going there, we get an interception, and now with one minute left in this first half, we have a chance to add on to our lead here, first and ten. Jackson looking wide open as DJ Shark Jr. there up to the 48-yard line. And a first down. We still have all three of our timeouts. We'll use one there. So up to the 45, second and seven. Jackson underneath. That's going to be caught by Shark Jr. Breaks off a tackle. And he will be finally brought down at the, I believe, 35. We'll see the uh, penalty here. See what this penalty is. It's going to be holding. holding. And that'll bring us back. Ronnie Stanley with the hold. So uh, negate that play there. And I'll we'll bring up a third and 11 here from the 50. Is Jackson looking, and he's going to find Hayden Hurst somehow. Got rid of that throw after being hit. We'll let the clock run down, call a timeout, bring on Tucker here for about a 52-yard field goal to end this first half. This is going to be up. It's going to be perfect. It is good. And we take a 24 to nothing lead here into halftime. So the domination that we've... Uh, of the Dolphins organization that the Ravens have had. Uh, it just continues in this ball game. Miami cannot get anything going on our offense. Our defense is dominating, and our offense is doing the same. So we'll head around the NFL. Seattle beating the Cleveland Browns there, 21-14 in the second quarter. We head to Buffalo, see how they uh, come back from our victory against them last week, and they're leading the Redskins 20-17 high-scoring game there. In the first half, as Kyle Kemp has two touchdowns as uh, Josh Allen. I'm not sure how long he'll be at. I have to check that. And we go to New York. Battle of New York here. The Jets are beating the Giants there 10-6 to right before halftime. So we head into the second half. We will start with the ball on the offensive side. Of the, to the, start at the 25-yard line. And that's going to be Nick Chubb only picking up about a yard there on first and uh, 10. So second and nine now from the 26. Jackson on the play action. Rolling out trying to find something. He's going to go underneath there to Nick Chubb. And Chubb's going to get brought down there. Up to the 33. Give him about seven there. So bring up a third and short. Just what we want. We always want to be in these third and shorts. So obviously Jackson can scramble, roll out, do whatever he wants. But we can also use the run game. But this time not going to work out. Josh Gordon cannot hang over to that ball there. Incomplete. And that'll bring on this Dolphins offense. As you see, Tyrod, a rough first half here. They're on a pick six. They're running on their interception when they are, were in prime position to pick up points there. And there's another inaccurate throw there on second down, bringing up a third and four. And we're going to bring some heat, and it's going to work out perfectly. Judon there for the sack. Give him his second sack of this ball game there in this Miami offense. Obviously didn't make any adjustments at half as they come right out with a three and out. So we got a second and five there. Oh, man, that was close. Paris Campbell just can't hang on to it. Nice job there by Boyd to knock that one away and bring up a third and five. So maybe this Miami defense has made some adjustments at halftime as we're going to go underneath the Johnny Dixon there for the catch. But that's not even going to be close. And Miami gets a three and out. So their defense stepping up and uh, hoping their offense can get something and see what happens here as Tyra Taylor's going to find Kenny Stills down the field, give them a gain of 30. And up to the 41-yard line. So from the 41, we have a first and 10. Tyrod looking, trying to find something. He's going to be brought down again to the pressure this time. Tony Jefferson with the sack, having an excellent game. Pick six, and now a sack here. And then bring up a third and 11 here from the 40. Tyrod rolling out, just going to dump this one off to Kasicki. That's not even going to be close as Jefferson's there for the tackle. So this Miami offense gets one nice play and then can't do anything after that. And we'll have to punt the ball. So we have 640 left here in this third quarter. And Lamar Jackson's going to go down there. Martin with the sack back to the 12-yard line. And our offense uh, struggled a little bit here in the second half so far. So bring up a third and 18. Jackson's just going to step up, find Josh Gordon, get him whatever he can before he gets clobbered there. And he picks up about 10, but that's going to be well short of the first down. Another three and out, and we have to punt. So right now the offense struggling. And hopefully our defense can just hold this Miami team. 
Uh, what we've been doing here this whole pretty much half year as first and ten going up top. And Jimmy Smith's going to find an interception there. Third for Tyrod Taylor in this ball game. So there we go. Defense does the job once again, not allowing anything and getting the ball back. And now we are uh, good field position at the 39 here to try to pick up something. So we have another third down here. Couldn't get much on first and second down. We have a third and five here from the 34 to the outside. And that is going to be caught, actually. That is a catch completion. What a job there by Debo Samuel getting the feet down, holding it on the ball, and a first down. So second and eight, we'll go to Sonny Michelle. Breaks through a tackle, and he's got himself a gain of 11 to the six-yard line. We can pretty much, I would say, put this game away here with a touchdown as we are just got about a minute left here in this uh, third quarter. The handoff to Nick Chubb, and Chubb's going to get in there for his second score of this ball game, and that'll give us a 30 one to nothing lead here with about a minute left in the third and there you go i would say uh unless miami can get something here on this drive this ball game is about over first and ten going up top what a catch there by ken yon drake over jimmy smith look at smith getting up can't even believe that was caught heck of a job that was a heck of a catch 28 yards in the first down second and ten now tyrod rolling out oh man he gets crushed there Luckily for him, that's incomplete. DeAndre Walker was there. And now brings up a third and ten here. Tyrod has plenty of time to throw this time. He's going to go to the outside. And Dolan will pick up the first down. So there you go, Miami up to the 35-yard line. Give them a first. Should be probably the last play of this third quarter as Tyrod's going to drop back looking to throw. He's going to go up top. That's going to be Kenny Stills with the catch. And that's another first down. So the best drive of the game here for Miami when they need something as we head into the fourth quarter. So from the 17, third and seven here, they've been picking up third downs left and right, but this time they're gonna run a draw to Kenyon Drake, who gets popped there by C.J. Mosley. Ball comes out, recovered by Tony Jefferson, and just when Miami had something going there, they do not, as Mosley just, man, just crushes them there. Tony Jefferson on the spot for this game, comes up with a recovery. And now we can just try to waste away some clock here and get out of this ball game with a big time victory as Chubb's gonna pick up the first down there. And now in second and 10, we're gonna roll out with Jackson. We're gonna get Mark Andrews a nice catch there. And look at him breaking through some tackles, keeps going. And he's up to the 46 yard line. Nice job there by Mark Andrews in the first down. So third and seven here, about nine minutes left. Really just, you know, doing whatever we can here as Jackson's going to go up top. Man, he probably should slide there, but look at him. Just keep going there up to the 24-yard line, a first down, and that'll allow us to just waste even more clock off here as we have a second and eight. Jackson looking, and he's going to go up top to Paris. Campbell, who comes down with the catch? Probably should have just been running the ball here to waste the clock, but getting these young receivers involved, that's a heck of a – Throw and catch. Look at this catch. Nice concentration. The DB thought he had the interception. But Paris Campbell, yeah, you could celebrate because that is your first NFL touchdown there. And that really put this game out of reach. 38 to nothing here. As we go a little bit later here, a few minutes into to, uh, left here in the fourth quarter in the ball game. Dolphins trying to get something here as Chuck Clark is going to knock that one away. Clark had a great preseason, made this team. Nice play there. Almost coming up with the interception. And now third and 12, Tyrod looking. Just going to go up top, and it should have been picked off there by Anthony Everett as we have pretty much all the backups in. As Everett could have came down with a pick, could not. Dolphins would add a field goal there, and that would be the ball game. Absolute destruction here in Miami. 38-3, and it's really good. I mean, the offense struggled a little bit in the second half, but came through there. Lamar Jackson, excellent game, 22-28, two touchdowns. He looked uh, fantastic, had plenty of time to throw. Offensive line looked good. Nick Chubb, 71 yards, two touchdowns. Sonny Michelle had a good game, 6 for 32. Even Kenny Dixon, 6 for 36. So the, the, every facet of the offense in this ball game was outstanding. Spreading the wealth there. Gordon with 81 yards and a touchdown. Shark, 37 yards, four catch. Debo Samuel had a pretty good game. Uh, Paris Campbell had the touchdown. So Deion can't even had a catch. So everybody, everybody involved there in this ball game. And this is what you want the offense to look like. It looked outstanding. Don't even have to talk about the defense because we're starting to see consistently every week. This defense is outstanding. Probably one of, if not the best defenses in the NFL right now. It's, you know, we have pass rushers. We have 
guys that can cover. So it, it's it's outstanding. Uh, take a look at the Dolphins. Yeah, Tyrod really struggled. Ended up with 256, but three picks. They could not run the ball at all. 10 for 16. Um, not good for the Dolphins. Uh, they will go fall to 0-2 on the season. Um, not a very, you know, Bryce Love, it was, you know, he's pretty good out of the stamp. The rookie out of Stanford wasn't even used, just had the one catch, didn't really have any carry, so I'm surprised they did not get him involved in the offense. But a nice victory in Miami. We come to uh, after the week here, Hayden Hurst has a skill point. And I think um, the possession or maybe up his blocking there. Yeah, but he's more of a vertical threat anyway. I know it's a scheme fit. I don't, I'm not really sure if I should be worried about his blocking. We're just going to continue with the uh, vertical threat and scheme fit. And there you go. Two awareness, two catching, two deep route. He has two medium route. One elusiveness, pass blocking, and spin moves. So that works out. And then Chuck Clark there. He's developing pretty well. So Chuck Clark, uh, I know he's only a 66 overall, but he's getting some time there and looking pretty good. And we'll up the, the scheme fit, the hybrid upgrade. Uh, two awareness, two zone, the rest of one, uh, press coverage and press and everything. So we go to week number three. Here we go. We face off the Pittsburgh Steelers. But before that, Tony Jefferson wins AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Good game, a sack pick, forced fumble, pump recovery. And you see Pittsburgh sitting at 2-0. Uh, no Ben Roethlisberger. So that means Mason Rudolph is their quarterback. And so far through two games, not too bad. 500 yards, five touchdowns, two interceptions. No Le'Veon Bell anymore. Um, and Chris Ivory going. I think Connor got hurt the one game. I think he is their starter regardless. Um, they still have the same receivers, but this is a different Steeler team. Uh, we'll see how we fare against them. They're sitting at 2 0. They come into Baltimore. You know, these Steeler Ravens games are always, always something. You can see Terry Goodwin there, the rookie from Georgia. We'll have to watch out for him. They just keep adding receivers. It's ridiculous. But. These are the games that, you know, no matter what, no matter how better the team is or worse the team is, you're always going to get a battle. And I expect nothing but a close game here in Pittsburgh or in Baltimore against Pittsburgh. And it should be a uh, – they're always unbelievable game. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.